Here are some of my favorite pieces. The grand prize ice cream tray. Crystal City, of course, which I have several examples. And then the Dorflinger Marlboro Punch Bowl in green cut to clear. And we pick up our fourth and final video with this eight inch tall green cut to clear trumpet vase of which I do have two if one wanted to make a pair. Um, nice color, nice form. Trumpet vases are always classic. I think they're vastly underrated. Um, they're eight inches tall and they are $275 each. Here's another spectacular piece that I have in the booth. It's a massive 16 inch tall bowling pin shaped vase and it is cut in the Ogaunce pattern by Drake. The um, pattern and cutting house is shown on page 200 of the Revy book. Um, this is really a masterpiece. I forgot what this thing weighs, but it's unbelievable. Super, super thick, super heavy. Just great detail cutting. <laughs> Hop star base. And it is $28.50. Always a classic, very desirable pattern is this Hawks Queens pattern. The cider pictures are well known, well documented. It's shown exactly in the last few pages of the first ACJ Hawks catalog reprint. This one it has an outstanding blank, great cutting, really a fine piece, and it is $14.95. That's one of the nicest examples of Queens you'll have. Here's a nice uh, cylinder vase, and it's a big one. It's 14 inches tall. It's kind of a Queens-like pattern. It's not star by ideal, and it's not one of the Bergen variations of Tyree. I've yet to figure out what company cut this, but it's if this were Queens, it would be $18.95 or $24.95, but as such, it is $8.95. Very nice, stout, large piece. Here's a 12 inch diameter sterling rimmed divided tray. Has pretty engraved floral design work. It's only $2.95. That's nice for a sterling silver piece. Um, here is either a solid amethyst candlestick or an amethyst blank by pair point. It perhaps had never been engraved at the factory. Beautiful, deep, rich amethyst color. Very fine, silky glass. It is 12 inches tall and 295. Here's a huge 16 inch tall pair point single candlestick. I have not looked up the pattern yet, but it's really lovely copper wheel engraving. Well done, um, cut foot or engraved foot, and the single is only $3.95. I have two of these bell-shaped decanters. Most likely these were cut by uh, Krantz Smith. The designs are slightly different, but they're very complementary. They're the same size. One of them has probably had the stopper shortened for chips. Uh, but it still fits perfectly and is the original stopper. Both stoppers are bell shaped just like the decanters and they're hollow. These guys are 11 inches tall and they're only $125 a piece. That's another nice bargain because in person these are really well done. Here's two unique examples of the Glenwood pattern by JD Bergen. This is a stout whiskey jug. Um, Glenwood is shown in the Bergen catalogs many times. I love the handle, very unique shape. It's also pattern cut, which adds a lot to it. Original stoppers on both of these. This one's footed and it's tall. Um, I want to say it's 14 and a half inches tall. But if you talk about a unique shape, uh, it is exactly shown in the one of the Bergen catalogs has a hop star foot. The tall one is 575, and I forgot the um, 
stout one with the pattern cut handle is only $4.95. That's a nice buy. I like both of those. Here's a 12 inch diameter uh, tray. The sides come up somewhat deep. It's contemporary in the when I say contemporary, probably 1970s, possibly 1960s. Nice detailed pattern, very pretty in display. It would be a great piece, again, as a wedding gift or to just use for special occasions. And the tray's only $1.95. Here's a little bargain, um, a stout pitcher cut in a pinwheel, fan, and large um, Strawberry diamond design, punty cut thick handle. I think this is ten and a half inches tall, but it's a steel at only forty-five dollars. Here's a sterling rimmed eleven-inch tray. Um, has split point hobstar in the center. Uh, well done. Very nice Shreve sterling rim. Shreve was a well-known highly desirable company out of San Francisco and this is a bargain at only $4.95 another Hawks classic is this stout nine inch tall pitcher in Brunswick the pitcher is signed and it's one of their most collected patterns just like the Queens pitcher this one's very brilliant very high quality triple diamond cut handle it is signed um, and it is $6.95. 12 inch diameter tray cut in a unique pinwheel design with draping flashed fans. Uh, this is possibly done by Iorio glass. Um, I don't know, maybe the 1920s. Nice clear blank, nice cutting, and that's a steal at only $155. There's a cute floral and geometric corset vase. It's 12 inches tall, five and a quarter inches in diameter, and that's a steel at only $39. That's one that you can use without fear on a day-to-day -day basis. Here's a tall pyramid form decanter by Val Saint Lambert. It's cobalt cut to clear, teardrop hollow stopper, and a big 18 inches tall. And there's another little show bargain at only $275. This is a thick, very heavy, uh, nice quality blank. It's a third, oh no, I think it's 13 inches in diameter rather than 12. Um, and it's cut in the Shirley pattern by Meriden. Nice quality and only $110 for a big showy piece like that. And the cobalt trumpet is on hold. Um, here's a big 10 inch diameter salad bowl. It's cut in the Sonora pattern by Libby. It's very uh, fine blank, very well done cutting, very unique cutting. And here's a, a beautiful wine goblet it's cut in a brilliant style by Pepe Herman. Pepe is a master cutter who's Austrian trained and he's a dying breed. He creates his own original designs and his work is superb. The tall hawk wine is 125. In the back we have the jewel pattern by Phoenix Cut Glass. It's an eight inch diameter bowl, early piece, nice example, and that's only $150. Here's a 1-1 rated uh, Byzantine pattern by Meriden. One of the most difficult patterns to acquire in cut glass. This is the real deal, not a variation, as the fancy cross hatched neck with step cutting. Um, one of the best patterns in cut glass and it is $29.50. You'll be very lucky to ever see another piece of Byzantine. It's so rare. Uh, Linda, Linda, Glenda 
under plate for a salad bowl. It too is on hold or sold. Here's a star pattern ice cream tray by Fry. It's one of the big ones, not the 14 inch. This one's 17 inches long and 10 inches wide. Um, the pattern is shown in Pearson Books. It's $11.50. Uh, I would be willing to take an offer on it. I've had it for a little while. Great hob stars. Well done. Uh, just picked this up. It's a nine and a half inch diameter bowl. It's cut in the Columbia pattern by Blackmore. Superb, heavy, heavy blank. Uh, very thick, very fine detail cutting. Pattern's really a favorite of mine. I've sold three punch bowls in this pattern in the last few months. $3.95, that's a really nice buy. Here's a beautiful wood and silver plate tantalus set. Does have the locking mechanism that does work. Has the original key and also has the um, uh, name plates that they people like to have on these whiskey scotch and um, brandy they're cut all in cane uh, faceted stoppers has the oak case is in excellent condition that's a beautiful set for 1550 really magnificent here's a rarity I've only this is only the second piece I've ever owned in this pattern it's Samantha by William Anderson Features clear button hob stars, great depth of cutting, probably a Libby blank. It is $8.95. That's a real rarity. And then talking about rarities, here's one of the ultimate patterns by Libby. It's only the second piece I've ever had. The first was a two-part punch bowl, which I kept. And this is a 10-inch diameter bowl. It's large and it's deep. Phenomenal clear button hop stars. Small cluster of clear button hop stars in the bottom. Just a phenomenal Libby blank. And the piece is 5,500. You may never get another shot at one of these. Here's an all notched prism alternating in two different styles, swirling in a comet effect. Strauss would be a guess based on the thickness and the shape of the blank and they did a lot of swirling cutting uh, really incredible blank it's 10 inches in diameter and it's quite impressive in person it's 695 and I have two left of these tall Queens Hawk wines by Hawks those are very rare um, they're seven inches tall they're signed and they are 395 each this is an unusual rose bowl and this is another piece that would likely be Krantz Smith. Very detailed, probably fairly early. Um, big, eight inches in diameter. It's really cut to pieces. I, I, I like that piece and a little bit unusual shape. It sort of tapers down at the bottom. Here's a magnificent 14 inch diameter tray. Incredibly thick and heavy. Most likely it was done by Blackmere. I wish we had more catalogs by them. But that's a great large tray. Would be a stand-up piece in any collection. It is $34.95. The, the quality of this is will blow you away. Um, these are Meriden Cranberry Cut to Clear Wine Stems. Most people mistakenly think that Meriden did not do color. But I've owned um, a rainbow bowl in a documented pattern. I owned a humidor and cranberry cut to clear with Wilcox Sterling that was exactly pictured in the catalog and then these wines are pictured in the catalog. So I have two left of these and they are $2.75 each. Here's another show bargain. It's a huge 12 inch tall nine and a quarter inch diameter compote. It's in design number 100 by Elmira. Um, this is probably a $14.95 piece very clear stunning blank well cut solid fluted and notched stem great scalloped hop star base and that's a steel at $8.95 and then here's another trophy 20 inches tall 
um, Fradley Sterling uh, rim in vintage design, grapes and leaves, heavy silver. That's a real trophy. Must have been a special order item at 20 inches tall. And it is $7,500. And then here is um, an invitation to join the American Cut Glass Association. You can email them, or check out the website rather, at cutglass.org. If you want to learn about cut glass or find information, that's an interesting source. And we will be back in the spring. And our show dates are May 29th and April 3rd here in Round Top, Texas. And again, I'll be at the Big Red Barn. I am booth 325. We are here tomorrow. I'm sorry, today and which will be Saturday when this video airs. But um, we are here for two days, Friday and Saturday. And we'd love to see you in the spring also. Thank you again for viewing the video. Any questions, please email me, franzwig at cox.net. Uh, you may also text 504-975-5279. Thank you and have a good weekend.